Hi guys, in the last video we did our first calculations in Excel and uh, for instance here for with revenue we had uh, hours time hourly rate and for profits we had revenue uh, sorry revenue minus costs exactly now comes the question which is basically what do I do if everybody has got the same hourly rate okay let's say for a single argument I'm gonna put it here everybody has the same hourly rate of 50. How do I, how do I calculate, what do I do now? Well, there are multiple options. First option is, I go in hourly rate, put in 50, and the way to uh, give everybody that same 50 is you click in there where the 50 is, and then same as with the formulas, you go to the lower left corner and you autofill downwards. And so everybody gets the 50, the hourly rate 50. And that's the way you can uh, basically autofill downwards or upwards, whatever. Give everybody the same value, basically. It's basically you type in the value and then go to the lower left corner and drag it down. Right. So that's one way of doing things. Now the problem with that is that I'm wasting a whole column or I have basically a whole column basically containing the same value. So is there a way to avoid having that column? Well, yeah. Well, let's delete that column first. Let's get rid of it. Let's 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 do let's build our formula in a different way or, or let's let's calculate in a different way. Okay, let me delete that column. The way you delete columns, I mentioned that already. You just select the column and then you go to delete and either select delete cells or delete sheet column it doesn't matter here because we, we already selected the column to be deleted so you can just say delete cells and bang it's gone now you see you get something like ref here in the formulas that happens when you delete uh, something and you see here the formula used to be b2 times c2 but now that c2 column that, that old c2 column got deleted and uh, instead of that we have here ref but it doesn't matter because we're going to rewrite the formula anyway so what we can do is just select the whole uh, thing here and just press the delete uh, button on our keyboard and it's gone right so a second way to write a formula where everybody's got the same hourly rate is basically like this equals b2 times 50 okay and then autofill downwards very correct yet totally incorrect the problem with this formula is it, it gives you the right value the right revenue but the problem is what if you what if the hourly rate changes let's say it becomes 55 or 45 or whatever then you would have to go into that formula and update that value and again autofill it downwards to, to have it apply to the remaining people. Now in our case with seven people and one table that's not a big deal. But often in Excel you would have multiple calculations in multiple tables with hundreds of rows all dependent on that one value i.e. hourly rate. And if that hourly rate changes and you have it here as as a value in your formula you would have to update all your formulas and you have and you have to also to remember wait a minute which formulas uh, have that thing and uh, that hourly rate and which don't so it's quite a big hassle why go through it that's why i always say avoid having values in your formulas now the third way to do it is basically like this equals or basically let me escape first you uh, the third way of doing it is basically you put your hourly rate somewhere in that table let's say here and you use this cell reference in your formula yeah and the way we're gonna do it is like this equal here times here okay and then I press return and I autofill uh oh now I got a problem here. What is my problem? Let's 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 look at a formula closely. This the first formula seems to be correct. It is B2 times M2. So that's all right. Now let's go to the next formula. It is now B3. So that's 
that's where this guy's hourly hours are, so that's right, times M3, but M3 is empty because all our hourly or the, the hourly rate is exclusively in M2. There's nothing here, there's zero. That's why we're getting zeros. Let's go to the next one, same, same story. It is B4, that's where this guy's hours are, and M4, but in M4 there's nothing. So basically you see by autofilling, the Bs, the B cells, they change accordingly, and that's what we want. But the M cells are also changing, and that's what we don't want. They should all, all those M cells should all point to M2 and not change when autofilling. Now, how can I avoid, how can I avoid having the M2 change when, when autofilling? And this is, this is where we use what, what, what is called absolute cell references. It's a pretty complicated name, but basically what it means uh, is, I'll show you. Let me just delete the formula completely. And you go like this, equal hours times hourly rate. Now, that hourly rate is valid for everybody. So it shouldn't change. And all cell references, which are valid for everybody after clicking on that cell you uh, uh, press the f4 button on your keyboard and once you press the f4 button you get dollar signs in front of the column name and in front of the row name and those dollar signs signify that this cell reference will not change when autofilling okay let me repeat that again that, that formula okay so basically I go like this equal same as before hours are those hours valid for everybody uh, no they're just valid for brown so they just stay the way they are times the hourly rate is that hourly rate uh, valid for everybody yes it is so I press the F4 key and I get those dollar signs so that means when autofilling this will change into B3 B4 whatever but this will stay at M2 Okay, let's try it out. Let's autofill. Click back in here. Go to, go to lower left corner, uh, lower right corner, sorry, and autofill, and bang. And let's see the formula now closely. B2 times M2. Okay, that's right. B3. You see the B2 became a B3. Well, that's the whole point of the exercise because this guy's hours are actually in B3, but the hourly rate is still in M2. Okay. Again, one down. B4, yes, but still M2. You see, with those dollar signs, what they do, they stop the cell from changing when autofilling. And that is that those cells with dollar signs are called absolute cell references. Those, those don't change when autofilling. Whereas those here without the dollar signs are called relative cell references, and those change when you autofill. Okay, that's the whole difference. Let's try it out again with CAS. Let's say, uh, everybody's got the same costs and those costs are let's say 560 okay so actually I don't need this column anymore because everybody got the same cost so again I, I, I select that column go and delete and I'm got it now and I just delete this old profits formula now how are my profits calculated well profits like before the revenue minus cost okay equals revenue is that revenue valid for everybody no, because this is just Brown's revenue. So minus costs. Are those costs valid for everybody? Yes, they are. So F4. And then that's it. Return. Click in again. Lower right corner and autofill. And you see here, same scenario as before. The C, the C cell references, they change. C2, C3, etc. But the L cells do not change. They stay at L3. Okay, and that's what you do when you have certain values which are valid for everybody. You put them off somewhere in your table and use those cell references. However, do not forget to turn those cell references into absolute cell references by um, pressing the F4 key after clicking on those cells. Just I'm going to repeat. So if I, if I redo revenue, basically equals hours times the hourly rate. Now always think, uh, 
is 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 this hourly rate valid for everybody yes then press f4 bang and you got it and then you can autofill just the way you do a normal formula and yeah that's that's about uh, that's that's how you, you 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 calculate with values which are valid for everybody don't put the values in the formula put them in a cell and use those cell references